So, what is the deal with broadband? The government wants FTTP, or optical fibre to the premises, your home, business or institution. The coalition is offering fibre to the node, a box on the street, and copper that is already in the ground for the rest of the way. The coalition plan will guarantee you 25 megabits per second. The NBN can deliver up to 100 megabits per second. And optical fibre still has a lot of room to grow. In September of 2012, a Japanese research team achieved speeds of 1 petabit per second. That is 1, followed by 15 zeros. One megabit has six. The key difference is bandwidth. Copper wire can carry about 3,000 telephone calls all at once, while a similar system using fibre optics can carry over 31,000. The difference between your garden hose and a fire hose. Why do I need the internet to be that fast? This is a question that fails to take into account what this much bandwidth can deliver. For example, disabled people or people with limited mobility will be able to get into the workplace by video commuting so they could have meetings and interact with work colleagues, allowing more people to return to work and get off disability pensions. And that 4K TV you were thinking of buying, the one that gives four times the resolution of HD TV, that will require 28 megabits per second for a single stream. Of course, video commuting would work for everyone. A construction specialist could see live vision of a collapsed building while accessing the original plans and advising emergency personnel the most likely place to find survivors. Or you could work from home, have the nice suburban house without the two hour car trip. In medical situations, if a loved one is sick, you could have a nurse on hand or a self-diagnosis kit hooked up to your connection. The data could be analysed in real time by your doctor, surgeon or a specialist who could recommend a course of action, send you an electronic prescription or order emergency care, all without having to wait in line. But what about the cost, you cry? The current estimate for the NBN is $44.1 billion. The coalition claims theirs will be a paltry $29.5 billion. So how much is this actually costing you? Divide the cost by population, spread that over the 10 years the rollout has been projected to take, and it means $195 or $130 a year. A difference of $65 or five large pizzas. But that's still pizzas, you say. Well, think of this. The coalition plan will cost two-thirds of the NBN, but will deliver only one quarter of the speed. However, those who can afford to pay the extra money to connect fibre directly will be able to enjoy the full capacity of the NBN, whilst those who cannot afford the connection fee will not. And here's the kicker. All taxpayers will still have sacrificed their share to get the fibre to the node, effectively subsidising fibre connections of those wealthy enough to afford the full service. Nation building isn't about separating individuals. It's about everybody pitching in to make the country better for everyone.